kintsugi. It means golden joinery. It's the practice of mending broken objects, mainly pottery, with lacquered gold. The origin of kintsugi allegedly comes from a Japanese shogun, Ashikaga Yoshimasa, who wished to repair a broken Chinese tea bowl in a way that would be aesthetically pleasing. Kintsugi encapsulates two Japanese philosophies. The first is wabi-sabi, which embraces imperfection and impermanence. The breaking and then repairing of an object is simply an event in its life that adds to both its character and beauty. As Richard Powell says, nothing lasts, nothing is finished, and nothing is perfect. There is also mushin, which explores non-attachment and acceptance of change. The changes we undergo throughout our lives, the breaks and knockbacks, are shown in our scars, blemishes, and wrinkled skin. Objects too are subject to the same changes, and through kintsugi are repaired in gold to illuminate their breaking points. Which, like wrinkled skin, adds wisdom and fortitude. Japan finds beauty in the weathered and the dutifully used, and values the appreciation of transience. Mono no awe, literally the pathos of things, is the Japanese term for this, combining transience and wistfulness for both objects and the state of life in general. This is seen most famously in Japan's fascination with cherry blossoms, so often seen in anime and Japanese films as their leaves fall after only one week. Kintsugi is the marriage of both these ideas, the weathered and the transient. This is quite the opposite of Western ideals of beauty, which traditionally value symmetry and perfection. However, as with many aspects of Japanese culture, Kintsugi has seen a growth in popularity for Westerners who seek to recreate the aesthetic lacquerware themselves by breaking their own pottery and repairing with gold. Though, the deliberate breaking of objects seems to be missing the entire point of Kintsugi, skipping to the end of the journey in the name of aesthetic, rather than appreciating the philosophy behind it. Like Kumihimo or Gyotaku, the joy of the art forms are in their making, not in their end result. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, here are two more for you. The first explores Gyotaku, the Japanese practice of fish printing. The second showcases gorgeous animated food from Disney, Pixar, and Studio Ghibli.